Hello friends, this is uh, lesson 10.2. Here again we are talking about some basics of probabilities. Uh, in last lecture we covered these topics, first, third, uh, first, second and third. And in today's lecture I am going to talk about binary classifier and confusion matrix and we will give some examples for them. Okay, let's see what is binary classifier and confusion matrix. So binary classifier, the name itself indicates binary means two. So binary classifier that is trying to predict from only two options. Here itself, two options are given. Yes and no, zero and one, true and false. Like that, if we have values, male and female, if you are classifying them, we are using binary classifier here. So here example is given having virus and not having virus, coronavirus and not having coronavirus. So if the data is in this form, so we need to use binary classifiers. So while dealing with binary classifier, we have to know the concept of something called confusion matrix. For better understanding, we are using confusion matrix. So what is then confusion matrix? Confusion matrix is a two by two matrix, I mean two rows and two columns and the values are housed here. Four values we have because two into two is equal to four and we have four possible outcomes from our experiment. So regarding to confusion matrix, there are some terminologies we have to know. The first value here is it is called okay through positive value through negative value we have and then we have false positive value and false negative value in here I have shown them through some binary values 0 0 and 1 1 like that. So what is through positive means through positive value 1 1 through positive what is that it is like let me give you the example of that coronavirus if you remember. So there if the person claims he has coronavirus, so claim is positive and the result after conducting the test, the result also come positive, so positive, positive. The person claimed he has virus and the result also shows he has virus. So this type of value is called true positive value. But what about this one through negative value? Through negative value means if the person claims he doesn't have the virus but after conducting the test the result also comes negative so negative and negative. So this type of value is called through negative value. Here we have false positive value means what the person claims the person claims he doesn't have coronavirus but after conducting the test the result came positive. So he claimed negative the result came positive so this type of value is called false positive value. And then we have false negative value. What is that? The person claims he says I have coronavirus and after the test is conducted the result came negative. So he taught positive and the result came negative so this type of value is called okay false negative value so here then we talk about some types of errors they are called type 1 error and type 2 error so what is type 1 error type 1 error is rejecting the null hypothesis which is denoted by h naught when it is true it means this is called type 1 error because the person claimed he doesn't have coronavirus but after the test conducted the result came true. It was positive he had coronavirus. What happens? Rejecting, he was rejecting. He said I don't have coronavirus but the result came true he had coronavirus. So this is called type 1 error. And what is type 2 error? Type 2 error is false negative. This one, accepting the null hypothesis 
whenever it is false. What does it mean? It means a person claimed he has coronavirus. He thought like that. He has coronavirus. But after the test, the test came negative. It was zero. So it means he didn't have coronavirus. He was accepting, but it was false. So this type of error is called type 2 error. And here it is shown here false negative and it is a value in confusion matrix here. And now after that we have some metrics we have to calculate from confusion matrix. So many uh, matrix, so many matrix are there but we will conduct only this two. Okay, first we will calculate the classification error, sorry, classification accuracy. Classification accuracy indicates how often is the classifier correct. How much we have classified the values correctly. So for that we have to calculate the accuracy. So accuracy is equal to true positive plus true negative. These two values what we explain here true positive and true negative values divided by total number of values there. True positive, true negative, false positive and false negative sorry here. And then we go for classification error, misclassification rate. How much we incorrectly classify the values. So that is called the error. So that error is equal to false positive and false negative. These type, two types of errors we have to add them and divide by total number of here what we have through positive, through negative, through false positive and false negative. And we will give some example friend here. I hope you understood this much about them. Let's see here the example. So first we talked about binary classifier and we said binary classifier is a task of classifying the elements of a given set into groups, into two groups. Pred predicting which group each group belongs to on the basis of classification rule. Let's have the, the same example what we discussed in previous lecture. So here let's consider a set of 100 people who showed up for an experiment in which a new test for coronavirus is being conducted. So here we have two groups, group 1A, the second event B. Event A says 25 people, they claim they don't have, sorry, they have coronavirus. They claim they have. And these 30 people, they claim they don't have. But after the test was conducted here, among them 20 people they had coronavirus, 10 of them from the group B they didn't have and 5 members from group A they didn't have. Among them the intersection is 20, 20 people the result came positive. Now let's call, okay, conclude this like this. A this refers to those people who claim they have coronavirus. They claim, they say they, we have coronavirus. What about B? B, the people, they claim they don't have coronavirus. But what about this intersection after conducting the test? People among these two groups, 20 of them, they had the result came positive for them. And the white space, these are the people for whom the test was not conducted. Now let me use the confusion matrix here. And confusion matrix, we said it is a two by two matrix, houses all the four possible outcomes. So possible outcomes, four possible outcomes are here like, here. Like we have the intersection, five, 10, and uh, here the values what we have. Let me put it like this in this form. We have true positive, then we have true negative, false positive, false negative. The actual value was yes, predicted also came yes, that is called true positive. The actual value was no, and here the predicted was also no, it means zero, zero. If you remember here, zero, zero, that is called true negative. One, one, it is called positive. So here if no no means 0 0 it is true negative. Yes yes it is true positive and here we have false positive and here we have false negative. What is this 20? 
20 is true positive. True positive means what? The people claimed, they said they have virus and really they had. How many of them? 20 of them. They claim they have and they really have. After conducting the test, the result came, 20 of them had coronavirus. The result was positive for them. Okay, what about this one? 10 people. 10 people or through negative. Through negative means what? The people claim they don't have. But after the result, 20 of them had, but only 10 of them, which they claim they don't have, they really didn't have. That is called through negative. What is this five? Five is among those people who claim they have coronavirus. They were thinking like that. They have coronavirus, but after the test was conducted, only 20 of them had five of them. The result came negative. That is why it is called false negative. In here, 20 of them here, false positive. What is that false positive? People thought they don't have coronavirus, but after the result, the test conducted, 20 of them who thought they don't have coronavirus, but they have it. That is why it is called through positive. They were thinking they don't have, but the result came positive, 20 of them. So total number of observations under concentration, we have 55. Because we have 20 plus, uh, sorry, 25 plus 30, so it becomes 55. And this is the result. It is shown in the form of confusion matrix. Now let me calculate here some other matrix. So 20 through positive, 20, 10 through negative, 20 we have false positive, and 5 we have false negative. If you want to calculate that, accuracy classification accuracy that was the formula which was given through positive plus through negative divided by through positive through negative through positive false positive false negative divided by whole numbers whole these numbers and misclassification error or classification rate and that is false positive plus false negative divided by total numbers and it execute this and see the result yeah it is not bad so classification accuracy is 55%. So we 55% we classify the values correctly. And 45% we classify the values incorrectly after the prediction. So the classification accuracy is higher, so it is acceptable. So I hope you understood this about from this example I explained it. Okay, now let's see some, okay, we talked about uh, basic terminologies through positive. Through positive means what? We correctly predicted, predicted that they do have virus. Through negative, we correctly predicted that they don't have coronavirus. False positive one, we incorrectly predicted they do have coronavirus. Type one error if you remember. So false positive means we incorrectly predicted that they do have virus type 2 error. So type 1 and type 2 errors. Rejecting the null hypothesis H1, H0 when it is true. Type 2 errors means accepting the null hypothesis when it is false. A very good example here it is given friends. This is type 1 error. The person claims, the person claims he is not pregnant but the doctor says no he is pregnant. So this is called type 1 error. But type 2, C false negative. The person, she claims she is pregnant. But what the doctor says, the doctor says she is not pregnant. So this type of error is called false negative and type 2 error. And this type of error is called false negative. As I showed you here in this example also, people claim they have virus, 5 of them they didn't have. They claim but they don't have. Here also they claim they don't have but they have. Five, 20 of them have it. So I hope you understood this about binary classifier, types of errors here and some metrics here what we calculated and basic terminologies and here what we 
talked about them here basic terminologies types of errors and we calculated some metrics from confusion uh, matrix i hope you understood this much